Now, whether it be the ear, nose or throat, it is not something which you can easily cut open and visualize. To understand and remember, you need to form a picture in your mind. And I'm so excited to bring to you the Marrow ENT modules. Each and every module is a power pack that has been created very thoughtfully for you to build up your concepts from the basics. And yes, building up these concepts from the basics will also make you very good clinicians. It was around 2 a.m. We rushed out to see a patient being rushed into the ward on a wheelchair. It was a young female around 30 years in Strider, trying very hard to breathe. I immediately did an indirect laryngoscopic examination and it was bilateral recurrent laryngeal nerve palsy. We immediately made the patient lie. I gave the local anesthesia and the incision and since there was no other doctor in my ward at that moment, I had no option but to ask my husband to hold the retractor. In no time was the tracheostomy done and the tube put. We could see the relief on the face of the patient as she could finally breathe. My husband told me, how come I did not panic at all in spite of it being my first emergency tracheostomy? And I realized, that as first year PGs, we had been doing tracheostomies so frequently in some ward or the other, though they were elective tracheostomies, but I never knew when it became a reflex and when it was the time for me to do my first emergency tracheostomy and that to all alone, I did not fear. There was no panic because it felt like just another tracheostomy. So that is what you need to do. You first need to clear your concepts, but yes, it does not end there. Knowledge without practice is totally useless. So you need to then practice. Practice in the form of MCQs, practice in your wards, in your clinics, and by giving tests again and again and again till it becomes your reflex. So that when it is the day for you to give your PG entrance exam, there is no fear, there is nothing to panic, and it feels like just another test.